Section 14.3 Strengths of Acids and Bases In the process called dissociation, an acid or a base separates into ions in water. The strength of an acid is determined by the moles of hydronium that are produced for each mole of acid that dissociates. The strength of a base is determined by the moles of hydroxide that are produced for each mole of base that dissolves. Strong acids and strong bases dissociate completely in water, whereas weak acids and weak bases dissociate only slightly, leaving most of the initial acid and base undissociated. Strong acids and weak acids. Strong acids are example of strong electrolytes because they donate hydrogen ions so easily that their dissociation in water is nearly complete. For example, when hydrochloric acid, a strong acid, dissociates in water, protons are transferred to the water to the resulting solution contains essentially only ions of hyd hydronium and chloride. We consider the reaction of hydrochloric acid in water to go to 100% of products. Thus, the equation for a strong acid such as hydrochloric acid is written with a single arrow to the products. There are only six common strong acids. All other acids are weak. Table 14.4 lists the relative strengths of acids and bases. Relative strengths of acids and bases. Strong acids include hydroiodic acid, hydrobromic acid, perchloric acid, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, and nitric acid at the upper left of this table. The strong bases are at the lower right of the table. Hydroxide ion, sulfide ion, methylamine, carbonate ion, cyanide ion, ammonia, hydrogen phosphate ion. All other acids are weak and all other bases are weak. Weak acids are weak electrolytes because they dissociate slightly in water, which means that only a small percentage of proton is transferred from the weak acid to water, forming only a small amount of hydronium ion. A weak acid has a strong conjugate base which is why the reverse reaction is more prominent. Even at high concentration, weak acids produce low concentrations of hydronium ions. Many of the products we use at home contain weak acids. Organic acids such as citric acid and acetic acids are weak acids. Citric acid is a weak acid found in fruits and fruit juices such as lemons, oranges, and grapefruits. In the vinegar used in salad dressings, acetic acid is present typically in 5% acetic acid solution. In water, a few acetic acid molecules donate protons to water to form hydroxide, um, hydronium ions and acetate ions. The formation of hydronium ions from vinegar is the reason why we notice the sour taste of vinegar. In a weak acid, a reverse reaction also takes place, which converts the hydronium ions and the acetate ions back to the reactants. This means that a weak acid such as acetic acid reaches equilibrium mo uh, between mostly undissociated acid and its ions. We write the equation for a weak acid in this aqueous solution with a double arrow to indicate that the forward and reverse reactions are at equilibrium. Diprotic acids. Some weak acids such as carbonic acid are diprotic that have two protons which dissociate one at a time. For example, carbonated soft drinks are prepared by dissolving carbon dioxide in water to form carbonic acid. A weak acid such as, such as uh, carbonic acid reaches equilibrium between mostly undissociated carbonic molecules and ions of hydronium and hydrocarbonate or bicarbonate. Because bicarbonate is also weak acid, a second dissociation can take place to produce another hydronium ion and the carbonate ion. Carbonate, carbonic acid is a weak acid and loses one proton to form hydrogen carbonate ion, which loses a second proton to form carbonate ion. 
sulfuric acid, H2SO4, is also diprotic. However, in its, its first dissociation is complete, which means that H2, H2SO4, sulfuric acid, is a strong acid. The product hydrogen sulfate can dissociate again, but only slightly, which means that the hydrogen sulfate ion is a weak acid. In summary, a strong acid such as hydroiodic in water dissociates completely to form aqueous solution of the ions hydronium and iodide. A weak acid such as hydrofluoric dissociates only slightly in water to form an aqueous solution that consists mostly of undissolved hydrofluoric uh, acid molecules and only a few hydronium and fluoride ions. Strong acids, H HI aqueous plus water yields hydronium plus iodide, it completely dissociates. Weak acids, hydrofluoric acid plus water yields uh, ammonium, ammonium aqueous plus fluoride is only slightly dissociated. Figure 14.3 after dissociation in water, a strong acid, HA, has a high concentration of hydronium and a conjugate base. A weak acid, HEA, has a high concentration of HA and a low concentration of hydronium and a conjugate base. Strong and weak bases. As strong electrolytes, strong bases complete, dissociate completely in water. Because these strong bases are ionic compounds, they dis dissociate in water to give an aqueous solution of metal ions and hydroxide ions. The group 1A hydroxides are very soluble in water, which can give high concentrations of hydroxide ions. A few strong bases are less soluble in water, but what does dissolve dissociates completely as ions. For example, when potassium hydroxide forms a potassium hydroxide solution, it contains only the potassium and hydroxide ions. Strong bases are lithium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, strontium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, and barium hydroxide. Six strong acids, six strong bases. Sodium hydroxide, NaOH, also known as lye, is used in household products to remove grease from ovens and to drain clean drains. Because high concentrations of hydroxide ions cause severe damage to skin and eyes, directions must be followed carefully when such products are used in the home and in the chemistry lab. If you spill an acid or a base on your skin or get it in your eyes, be sure to flood the area immediately with water for at least 10 minutes and seek medical attention. Weak bases are weak electrolytes that are poor acceptor of hydrogen ions and produce very few ions in solution. A typical weak base, ammonia, NH3, is found in window cleaners. In an aqueous solution, only a few ammonia molecules accept hydrogen ions to form ammonium and hydroxide. Direction of reaction there is a relationship between the components of each conjugate acid base pair. Strong acids have weak conjugate bases and do not readily accept protons. As the strength of the acid decreases, the strength of its conjugate base increases. In any acid-base reaction, there are two acids and two bases. However, one acid is stronger than the other acid, and one base is stronger than the other base. By comparison, their relative strengths we can determine the direction of the reaction. For example, the strong acid sulfuric acid readily gives up protons in water. The hydronium ion is produced is a weaker acid than the sulfuric acid and the conjugate base hydrogen sulfate is a weaker base than water. Let's look at another reaction which water donates a proton to carbonate to form bicarbonate and hydroxide. From table 4.4, we see that bicarbonate is a stronger acid than water. We also see that hydroxide is a stronger base than carbon carbonate. To reach equilibrium, the strong acid and strong base react in the direction of the weaker acid and weaker base.